Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a few things from Etsy that I wanted to show you guys. Um, sorry for the poor lighting again, but it is pouring horribly outside right now. Um, so I have my January Ipsy bag as well as two Ipsy offers that uh, I got this month. So first is the January Ipsy bag. Uh, which came in this bag that reminded me of like a pair of sneakers that I used to have. Not exactly the colors. Um, it's like this reflective yellowish, which I got the light on so it might not help, but it's like a greenish safety yellow with a pink. But this mesh reminds me of a sneaker that I used to have. Um, so it's very colorful. Um, and in this month's bag, it has like this like game face theme which I will conquer um, and then you could put something that you will conquer for the year uh, and the products for this month um, I'm going to start with this item because I was sent the wrong color um, my profile is set for dark hair and I was sent this um, Bella Pierre cosmetic stay put brow gel but it's in the uh, cardamom color which is for like a light brown I did however try it um, I swatched it on my hand and I even did give it a shot on my eyebrows it looked so weird it's way too light of a color for me um, so I emailed Ipsy and I told them that um, there was a mistake that I was sent the wrong color and I am happy to say that I should have my replacement any day now which I'm very happy for because this stuff is amazing I mean um, this is the, the gel and then inside the cap is a brush that I think is just really great. You can also put the top on to use as a longer if you need a longer handle. Um, for me, I found that the shorter handle was a little bit more easier to use. Um, and you just, this stuff. When you put it on your brows, let me tell you, this stuff stays. And you can make really thin lines with this. I'm actually very, very impressed with it. And if it was my right perfect color, I'd be wearing it right now. Because it was it was one of my favorites. I I, I honestly can't wait for my dark one to come in because I, I'm dying to use it. And this stuff, it doesn't go anywhere. It literally stays put. It does not go. I have to use um, uh, a not only a makeup remover, but I have to scrub it off as well. I mean, this stuff literally stays. It says it stays. It stays. Um, so this was one of the items that I got, but there's nothing I can really do with it. So unfortunately, this will be an item that gets wasted. Um, however, my color will be in the mail uh Actually, within two or three days. Um, I also got the um, a Fierce Flicks by Ciate London. And this is a felt tip pen, uh, which I tried. Not, um, was it this? No, not this, not this eye look, but my last eye look I did. And it's... Okay, it's easy to apply. It's really nice and smooth. Really, really black. Um, however, I just... It stayed on my hand, but when it got next... Like, when I tried to put the lash glue onto it, it kind of, like, smudged a little bit. Um, so I wasn't that thrilled about it, but I'm going to give it another chance. Just to... Um, it could I also did use the wrong glue last time, so it could have been that... I do have the proper glue this time, so I, I may give this one a second shot to see if um, I like it as much as the other one that I have. Um, I got a Cavalier uh, CC cream, and it's a 10-in-1 Complete Correction Leave-In Hair Perfector. And this is really nice. Um, it has like a kind of pearl look to it. You may not see it, but it's got like this white with a hint of pearl in it. And 
it's very nice for the hair. I do feel like it, it you could put it in wet or dry and it tames away the fuzzies that I have a lot of them as you can see but it does tame the the fuzzies on the head so I this will be something that I always always use um, I'm always looking for a good one and as you can see my hair is not that fabulous today but it does tame it down and, and it smells really really good so that was the third item now, I got the Perlice uh, Blue Lotus Leave Mud Mask and Exfoliant. I have already used this about three times. I love this stuff. It, I'm not going to, at first, when you first put it on, it does sting. You get like this light tingling sensation that you almost like, oh my God, is this an allergic reaction? But it does go away. And by the time the mask dries, um, and then you wash it off. You don't feel any kind of burn, no redness, besides my regular redness that I have. But it def definitely deep cleans um, my pores, especially after um, a day of makeup or or just a day where I'm just I just like dusting or something. This is I love this stuff, and this is something definitely that I would get a bigger size of. Hundred percent, definitely would. Um, and the last item I got was the Mary Lou Manizer, aka the Luminizer by The Balm Cosmetics. And it's one of those adorable, cute little books. And here's the highlight color. Now I have tried, uh, this color, not on this look. Um, I do have highlighter on right now. But there is this highlighter. It's very nice. I like the, the Balm um, Cosmetics. I feel that they have great products. I love all their eyeshadows that I've had. Um, and I feel like this will be no exception. See, I do have some on already. But a little more highlighter can't hurt. A little more highlighter ain't hurt nobody. Let me just... Oh, yeah. I am glowing today. <laughs> so that was my five items that I got this month with Ipsy. The highlighter, the felt pen, the hair corrector, oh, the hair cream, the mud mask, and the brow gel that I will be um, getting a replacement for. Um, so I have these items in my January Ipsy bag. Again, I... I I will never probably cancel the subscription. I did get on the wait list for BoxyCharm. I'm hoping that next month I can get it. Um, I would love to do like an Ipsy BoxyCharm unboxing. And what I've been doing lately is instead of doing just um, unboxing videos, I'm trying to review these products as well as unboxing them for you. So I'm showing you what I got for January but I've also tested these products out so I can let you know in one video how they are instead of doing multiple videos. Um, but I'm definitely going to do another video with um, the eyebrow gel when that comes in. I'll be very excited. I wish I could give somebody that brow gel. I really hate for things to go to waste, but I have already swatched it and I've personally used it. So it's a little, no, I wouldn't do that to nobody. Um, so that was January's bag. Now to show you some goodies. Okay. So um, there was a um, hair, like all you can probably get like in little hair samples. Okay. So ooh, not that one. Ooh, sorry. That was for something else. Okay. So this offer was, I believe, about $16. Um, and it had, uh, this is the, oh, I've also tried every single one of these as well. So I'll be able to let you know which one was my favorite. Um, the Rosario, uh, Rosario Milk, uh, from, uh, Brogero, Brogeo, I'm sorry. It is a leave-in conditioning spray. This one smells amazing. 
Um, however, it does saturate the hair a little bit. So, like, if your hair is, um, like, flat iron like mine, um, I did spray some of this this morning, forgetting how this reacts to my hair. It could be just my hair personally, but uh, you see the ends here have already started to kind of curl back up. Well, that's because of this one. Um, for some reason, I, it may be something that's in it, uh, but it doesn't mix well with my flat iron hair. But it smells amazing, uh, and I, I have no, that's the only issue I have with this one. Uh, the finishing cream. I love this stuff so much. Oh my god. Yes. This is perfect for after blow drying, after um yeah, after blow drying and after flat ironing your hair. This stuff is amazing. It smells great and I do love this one probably almost the most. Definitely. Um I got the 12 bed Oh, say I'm sorry. That was the Oyua hair care finishing cream. Yes. I showed you that. Uh, this is a 12 Benefits, and it's an instant hair, healthy hair treatment. Uh, this is seals color, smooths, repairs, improves texture and manageability, uh, prevents split ends, moisturizes, strengthens, and protects from chlorine, uh, chlorine, wind, and sun, prevents flat iron damage, adds shine and softness, protects from blow drying, and anti-aging formula. Um... Between these two sprays, I probably use the most. Um, I love this one. This smells great, and it does not frizz up my hair. So if I spray it on my hair right now, it will not make the hair curl up. It is kind of like a, a spray oil, if you would. Um, it kind of just gives you that nice shine. So my hair is very shiny, and even though it is freshly dyed. Yes, I had to do my first dye job to get rid of some gray hairs. <laughs> um, but I just dyed my hair and um, I usually am worried to dye my hair sometimes because it's damaged and I haven't properly cut my hair in a very long time. So I have a lot of split ends and a lot, my ends are pretty much dead. But I do have a, a really great shine and it's definitely because of some of these products. Um, so these two probably are my favorite sprays. Um, and this one is the uh, Even uh, Eva NYC. And it's the Main Magic. And it's a 10-in-1 primer. Uh, it has argan oil, sunflower seed oil. And it's for all hair types. This one smells really good. I like using these two sprays together, actually. Now this is Neon & Co. Treatment Oil. And it's uh, to bring dull, dry hair back to life, create shine and seals ends to eliminate frizz and flyaways. The ultimate multitasker, perfect for mixing or layering. Hair treatment oil is virtually weightless, works on all hair types, even fine hair without weighing it down. And I use this on my split ends and it's no joke. It really does lock in some of the like look at my ends that they're shining my ends never shine yes they're dead I know that they're dead it may not be able to get them back to life but once my ends are dead they never shine like that ever but this product definitely I focus this on my dead ends and it's been oh, I love it this was probably one of my no I gotta say that probably every Ipsy order I have gotten, I have been just, it's one of those things where I'm, I'm so glad I went with that kind of feeling. And this is definitely another one of those. Um, now this is dry shampoo. Um, I may do a giveaway for this dry shampoo because I don't use dry shampoo because I have very dry hair. And usually you want to use dry shampoo for, um, if you have oily hair or oily textured hair um i have already dried hair as it is so if i use this my hair is just going to dry out more um i'm not a big dry shampoo fan so i may do a giveaway for this and maybe some more makeup products that i don't use or haven't used yet i may do something a little special in wax cafe or even my new group uh, makeup um yeah makeup cafe and uh i might include this 
Uh, now, this is a large size. Now, the last two items I saved, these were all sample sizes that came in the offer. And these two items are full size. Um, so we have the It Hair Care. Excuse me. The It Hair Care 12 in 1 Amazing Leave In Treatment. And this uh, repairs, protects, and strengthens. Now, I would not use this on dry hair. I use this when I got out of the shower and my hair was towel dry. So I did this before I blow dried and flattened my hair. And this was lovely. I loved it. Um, I usually leave, I use like a, a Moroccan oil or argan oil, but I didn't even need to put that in my hair um, after my shower. After actually I washed, after I dyed my hair and washed my hair, I put this stuff in and I'm just, I don't think my hair has ever looked this nice the day after I, I dyed it. And I, I really do believe it's because of these products. Um, also, which is something I really don't always do, but when I dyed my hair, uh, usually I'll do this if I'm like bleaching my hair because bleaching can destroy your hair. But since I was just doing a ammonia-free dye, I uh, did the Perfect Repair Treatment Mask and it's a color protectant and what you do is that you put this in and you just you like let it stand in there for maybe two three five minutes I usually let it stay in for eight minutes eight to ten minutes and then you wash it out uh, so this is a treatment a treatment mask for your hair so both of these products were full size and I didn't just use this uh, one time I have used this plenty of times and I still have a lot in there. It smells divine. Oh, man. Mm. But, I mean, this was definitely a Ipsy offer that I am so, so happy that I uh, was able to purchase. Definitely worth every single penny, especially somebody like me who has very dry and lifeless hair. Uh, so that was one that I got from for December. Now, the next, uh, the last Ipsy offer that I just got was from Lexi Brushes. And I did use some of the brushes today for my makeup. Uh, so pardon me if they have makeup on them. I am quite obsessed with having clean brushes. But if I was to wash my brushes right now, I wouldn't be able to show you them because um, they would be wet and it wouldn't look right. So my apologies for showing you dirty brushes. I really, really do have an obsession with cleaning brushes. After every single time I do my makeup, I wash my brushes. To me, it's no bother. I love doing it. To me, I know by doing it, my face is gonna stay clear, so. And this offer was this very large, beautiful rose gold. See, it even has still the plastic protecting the zipper and the name. So it's just the beautiful pink and rose gold to match the pink and rose gold collection. Now, just to give you an idea on how big this bag is, this is this is how big it is. This literally is going to be my travel makeup brush bag. So I don't have to carry, and I've got everything rose gold. Like, I've got like a little tiny obsession with rose gold at the moment. But this is my makeup case that I'm oh, I'm obsessed with. Um, but of course, it would be a little difficult to travel with this. So, in, you know, instead of traveling with this gorgeous, beautiful case that I have here, that I have so many brushes. Um, this literally opens up. It's gorgeous. It's just, oh my God, I love it. But when I travel, I'll be able to use this gorgeous, gorgeous luxy bag it is super deep and perfect for traveling with brushes so the brushes that came with the offer were two uh three face brushes and uh two um eyeshadow brushes so the only one that i did not use today uh was the uh, precision foundation brush 
Now, I fell in love with Luxie the very first Ipsy bag I got. I got the Precision Foundation brush, but it was the blue handled one. And it was ever since that brush, I fell in love with the Luxie brand. And as soon as I see anything that has Luxie in it, I want it. And especially that it has a rose gold on it, it was like I needed it. Uh, so this is the 660 Precision Foundation Brush. A synthetic hairs, which I only use synthetic. I don't use animal hair brushes. I'm just a preference of mine. I don't like using animal hair brushes. Even if they are collected humanely. I'm sorry, it's just a preference of mine. Um, but um, that is the 660 Foundation Brush. Um, I did use this one, but this was the 514 Blush Brush. And I used this to apply my Urban Decay uh, blush today. And I loved, loved the way it, it, it really like, this is not like my favorite blush now. Brush, I love it. It put exactly what, it, you know, where I wanted it. Nice, soft bristles. Love this brush. Um, now this brush is a 532 round top blender. Now I was, I knew that this was a blending brush. Um, however, I had a little bit of a difficulty with this brush, and um, it was blending because uh, it is very dense. So it's a more denser brush for um, blending. So it's it's got more of a, a tug to it as where the blush just glides this tugs because it's more dense than the blush so while going with this to blend in my contour I had I had went into heavy um, because I'm used to blending heavier with my other brushes that I had gone too hard and I had taken some of the makeup off on top. I used the NARS foundation, um, which is the first time I've really, second time I've used that foundation. Um, so I'll be able to test it more um, and see if it, I'll use other brushes next time. But this brush actually did blend it out. Um, it blended it out too much, actually, um, which I thought was funny, but... Uh, I still love this brush. I still love the blending. I love it. It reminds me of a kabuki brush. That's what it. Re that's what it's true. That's what it reminds me of. Uh, so also, oh yes, I love these brushes. Okay, so this one is the small um 231 small taper blending brush. Now, I'm very very happy that I got this one because um some of my other ones. Like, for example, my other Ipsy that I got from a previous um, Ipsy offer is ver is round. It's like the round and tapered. Yeah, tapered blending brush. Uh, but it is, l this one is more dense. So as where this one is more looser, this is more denser. So by having the denser brush, I was able to get right into that crease and get that dark color. Uh, to really pop its self in there. Whereas the next one that I have is the 207 medium angled brush, which I know I have the light on, so it may be reflecting. Um, and it's the angled brush, and I use this to get in that V shape right here, as well as blending this all out right here. And again, it was a divine brush to use. I actually have this brush that I had gotten in one of my Ipsy bags. However, I'm going to show you because I thought I was freaking out. I thought that this was maybe a large angle brush or this one was a small, but they both say medium angle shading. They're both the pink and rose gold collection. 207. But I know I'm not crazy. This one is, it's more, 
this one looks smaller as where this one is more this one looks denser I should say this one feels denser it feels denser than and it's the same brush it's the same exact brush 207 but for some reason but I'm not complaining because it works for me it really I mean I was able to take this and just get that color right up in there right up in there and it worked for me perfectly so that is everything that I got from Ipsy the uh, January bag the two Ipsy offers and I again I get I have my brow gel uh, my brow gel coming it will be here probably by Thursday I believe they said but I'm excited to give that a try and to see it look really good on my eyes because like I said it, when I put the the this color on it just it didn't match me at all and it just looked really really weird but um thank you for coming back to my channel um to all those who support me and have love for me I love you so much um I I really can't tell you what you guys mean to me you guys coming back and watching me I, I really do love you all so so very much and um, I will be back today with more videos so please stay tuned and and give this uh, video a, a like and go to my Facebook group and uh, wax cafe makeup cafe I also just uh, created a new Instagram as well as a snapchat and they're both miss cafe zero two um so it's that way it'll be easier i just did the same name for both of them so again it is miss cafe o2 i will add that in the description as well but thank you guys for watching again i love you all and i'll be back very soon